We're in Lenexa in a little business area called Oak Park Commons. And take a look back here, and you'll see this uh, storage container, and it took out a light post that was right here. Now, the storage container was filled with uh, materials that was renovating a storefront here uh, off of 95th Street just to the west of Quivira. Um, that's the store that's being renovated, it looks like, to us, but the damage was done to a store right behind it. It seems like this storage container, either things flew out of it or it kind of spun around, and it uh, did a number on uh, the, the the windows here at this store called Ditto. It's a, it's a used clothing store. Uh, and so there is a work crew here that's eventually going to board these windows up uh, in, in the next few minutes. Anyway, there's all sorts of debris scattered around here uh, as a result of this, uh, but it gives you an idea just what kind of wind we're talking about that it could do this sort of thing flipping this uh, this storage unit over on its top and spinning it around uh, to cause all of that damage now up and down 95th Street uh, from where we are here near I-35 to the east almost all the way to the state line there's some levels of, uh, of tree damage in there that we'll be showing you over the course of the morning but this is the most significant uh, uh, damage that is not uh, uh, tree or tree limb uh, related and it really is kind of a stark thing to look at as is often the case when tornadoes blow through reporting live in Lenexa Martin Augustine KBC 9 News